Hello and very welcome to Synchronom's all new video series on the latest news and updates for our phone control software Dpens. I'm Andre, marketing assistant. I'm Robin, technical support. Since this is our premiere, we would like to start with the big bang. Our newest update called Dpens 2019 is ready to be downloaded right now, so better don't waste time. The Microsoft.NET framework was updated to version 4.6, which allows us to use new programming techniques to optimize the performance of Dpens. We also optimize all drawing processes within Dpens. This will increase the overall performance of our program. Are there any changes regarding the software running on our hardware? Yes, for sure. The vServer will get an update as well. This update includes bug fixes and a huge performance boost. In addition to that, we have an all new updater which will help us deliver new features in the future. From now on, you are also able to press Shift while selecting a fixture via the pad to set the order of the selection index within its sequence. Thereby the sequencer now has a totally new undo redo function which allows you to correct accidental changes. You can find that new function right here in the right corner of the sequencer window. At that, we renewed the whole dialog program options as well. And that includes the overall design too, right? Yes, that's absolutely right. Not just the dialogs are looking brand new, the main menu, the programmer menus, as well as all toolbars were revised and are looking really awesome. In addition to that, the external connection of media devices is now also possible in Dpens X64, which exactly means we included a new API which allows the connection of media devices in the 64-bit version of Dpens. This is a good reason to switch from a 32-bit version of Dpens to a 64-bit if you are using an external media controller. Okay, so what else is new regarding the overall user interface? We also change some aspect of the live panel, as from now on you are able to generate an audio button next to the formats. This new button type can be assigned with an audio file, which for example can be used for playing lead-ins and so on. As you can also see, we worked on a new profile editor where you are able to set or remove interpolation points via double clicking. The new user effect editor therefore allows you to edit your effects much more efficiently. Ah, okay, so that's all in all working like the profile editor you mentioned before? Yes, exactly like that. In both editors, you will be able to move the points in both directions. This will allow you to create the effects which fit your idea for the show.
can also be sure that we solved some known issues in Defense, allowing you a much more fluent workflow as well as stability and you can find a link to the specific changelog in the descriptions below. So thank you very much for watching and you're welcome to just give us a like and also follow us on Facebook and our brand new Instagram account.